Alright guys, my name is Metagoblin and today we are doing an add-on video. I'm basically going to be going through all of my add-ons and telling you what I use and how I essentially set them up for my interface. As you know from my last video, my PC died last week, so I have a totally fresh install of Classic WoW. Luckily I did back up my add-ons, so I have all the add-ons that I need, but however, the settings for all my add-ons did not save, so I've got to go through it all over again. So I thought while I'm going through it, I may as well record it and just talk through the process. So what I'll do is I'll quickly display all the add-ons that I have installed, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically reset up my, my interface. So let's let's count through it. First of all, we've got add-on control panel, which allows me to you know look at my add-ons in-game and disable and enable them without logging out, which is obviously really useful. So we have Atlas, Atlas Loot Classic, uh, bag non, bartender 4, basic combo points, character stats classic, classic aura durations, classic cast bars, classic spell activations, classic fret meter, deadly boss modes, elite player frame enhanced, focused, item rack, Leatrix max, Leatrix plus, nug energy, omni cc, poisoner, posture check, questy, real mob health, recount, spy, storyline, tell me when, Titan Panel Classic, uh, Vendor Price, Weapons and Weapon Swing Timer, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to start setting up my interface and just basically talking through all these, um, you know, add-ons individually. So the first thing I'm going to work on is Titan Panel. Now, you've probably seen from my, my videos, I, I don't like having a top bar, I prefer to have a bottom bar because I just find it better. I feel like the top bar is a little bit too clunky, so normally I hide the that bar and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an, uh, a bar on the bottom so if you go to bottom bars and then show bar and then you can see it there but obviously at the, mo at the moment this is kind of blocked up by um, bartender so what I'm going to have to do is first of all hide the artwork and probably just move the bars up and then we can start working on titan panel just move all the bars up move it all out the way so it's not irritating me so and now we can start working on titan panel so titan panel has like a number of essential information that you can display um, as you can see i basically set up the bottom bar and what you have to do from here is right click your basically what built-in plugins you want displayed for some reason you have to enable and sorry disable and enable them to appear so like that um when you swap the bar over but you know whatever so what i like to do i like to have ammo and you know a few essential information. I'm going to quickly decide what I want. So first of all, I think I'm going to have gold shown. So as you can see, like you have to disable it and re-enable it for it to appear. I normally have gold there, and then I can have something like I think I normally have re yeah the repair. The repair one is really useful. I always I'm re very regularly checking that one, and I don't really need XP anymore. But you know you can have your performance. And you know everything, anything else you want. Oh, I also use the ammo one quite a lot as well, actually. So, and I think you can click and drag them around. So, you know when you want to change the movement of it. So this is Titan panel. So I just I use this quite a lot, particularly for just displaying my durability and keeping track of that mostly, and keeping track of the gold that I'm earning per hour, per hour if I'm gold farming, and obviously keeping track of you know when I need to buy more arrows, and then I can check my FPS here, which is particularly you know, important for streaming and stuff like that, if, you know, if I'm dropping frames. I mean, you can also have, you know, your clock and location and loot type and all that kind of thing. Oh, and another really useful one, actually, is regen. So you can... I think it's more useful for healers, and honestly, but, like, you can track your health regeneration. I think your mana regeneration, so that's quite useful. But anyway, let's move on. So the interface really still is looking like a mess. The next best thing to do is to get bartender set up. So... Well, right-click bartender for some reason bar 2 is automatically like disabled for some reason so what I like to do first of all is get my bar 1 and the padding on that you know you know, see how these spell icons are a bit too far apart I don't particularly like that I can have them a bit closer together to save space on the screen I think about 0 padding is pretty ideal and what scale do I want them do I want them a little bit bigger I say about that size is good 1.1 and there's nothing else I can really change here. So what I do from here, that's that's bar one, that's fan tapadosi, that's Bob's your uncle. What I've just got to do now is copy the exact same settings for bar two. So I'm gonna get zero padding and one point one on the settings. And these two bars, just there, 
I basically, all of my DPS abilities, and luckily all my keybinds are still there, so I don't need to do them all over again. So that's my DPS abilities are all in the middle of the screen, so I can very easily keep track of them all. From here, we have... As if, if the bar is still on A, would I have a feeling it might be... Okay, yeah, it's still there, actually. So, my bar free, if I... Ch I've got to change the amount of rows this has so I can move it. Bar free is always my consumable bar, so... Fortunately, I don't have any of the consumables uh, in my inventory at the moment, but this is literally just all my consumables that I can just quickly click, um, you know, when, when we're both buffing up before a raid fight or wh whatever. So... Basically, I'm going to have my consumable bar, and that's pretty much... And then I'm going to have, like, an extra miscellaneous bar as well, so I'm going to quickly set these up. Now, I might speed up certain parts of the video because, uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, the video to drag on a bit too much, so... So I've pretty much got Bartender set up now. The first two bars are all my DPS abilities, as you can see. To the right here, we have a basically a consumable bar. The bar below is my miscellaneous bar, so it's poison making, the hearthstone, and all my professions and stuff like that, or any, any extra things that I need to put on there. Uh, there will be space there for, you know, for things that I might need in the future. And from here, we also have two bars. You may see that these are kind of like in the way, kind of cluttery. These two big bars are going to be totally hidden, because these are exclusively for macros, so things that I don't need to look at because, you know, I've already got the ability on my action bar, but I've got a separate macro for it, perhaps, you know, for a different function, then they're all going to be on um, the action bar here, so, and I'll obviously keybind them and just kind of memorise them. So the next thing to decide is where my unit frames are going to go. So I have an add-on here called Focus, which perfectly keeps my unit frames totally symmetrical wherever I move them. So that is an absolute godsend. So normally I set it up just above my action bars, but you need to give enough space for one, the enemy cast bar, and two, enemy debuffs and buffs. So that is something to be mindful of. So there's one thing you may notice, right? If I click off now this and then click back on, my unit frame is totally reset. This is an basically a bug that titan panel causes so in order to lock that position you kind of basically need to disable titan panel and re-enable it but we'll do that later so actually i may as well like do that now i'll display that now so like i won't i'm gonna i'm pretty much committing to my frames staying there so i'll go down to titan panel i disable it reload the ui and got some bugs there but we don't need to worry about that too much so titan panel is totally disabled now i can move the unit frame back into position and i think i decided it for it to be roughly around there if i need to adjust it i can do the same process again but as you can see it doesn't reset anymore so that is pretty useful we go back and re-enable titan panel we may just want to totally dis to be honest i think i'm going to keep this titan panel disabled until i fully commit to adjusting my interface so the next add-on we're going to set up is Nug Energy. This is my energy bar, which basically displays me my energy ticks and, you know, when they're coming available, which is really useful for timing adrenaline rush and stuff like that. And just uh, generally optimizing a DPS rotation. I fit this very snugly above my player frame, so it's constantly... I'm basically constantly looking at it, you know, whenever I'm in a boss fight, so that's that. Next, we can move on to, I would say, Weapon Swing Timer from here. So here we have the options for the Weapon Swing Timer. First thing I want to do is disable the offhand because I don't really need to see the offhand. I don't really like seeing the border either, and I don't really see like, I don't like the classic way of doing this either. The, you know, the classic interface. So what I normally like to do is set it just quite thick. Um, so you can, I like to keep the height at about, well, we'll have a look because I can't precisely remember. That's too big. So maybe 25, 25 looks good. But I think I'm going to go for 30. Okay, so that's quite nice. And I'm going to take the width down by just a nudge. 175. So let's have a look at this. So that seemed, that's pretty good, right? I can... If we let's if we get into combat, I can probably just do a little bit of an experiment with this. And I think this would be... I, I think this would be perfect enough, to be honest. 
that's me the enemy one as well so we need to disable that but yeah I mean that seems fine that, that I mean that's clear enough to me I can see when um, obviously it, it is important to, to look at your weapon swing time because you don't want to use abilities um, just as a weapon is about to swing again because you can obviously reset the weapon swing time and nerf your DPS slightly so that's why we keep that again for just like general DPS optimization so yeah I'm quite happy with that from here we, we also have basic combo points which I normally just put like above the enemy player frame. It, all it's going to do is display a number. I can't really show you this because the enemies here are so low level. Uh, or let's, I suppose gouge wouldn't kill enemies, would it? So let's let's show this quickly. If I gouge quickly, as you can see, there's just like a simple number there. I haven't got it locked for some reason though. Like let's let's lock it. And you, as you can see, there's a number. Um, if I press gouge again, the number gets bigger as it goes on. I just think it's just a you know, just a little bit of a visual, tiny visual aid, which makes it a little bit simpler to see your combo point. And that, you know, as you see, the dump number gets bigger and bigger. It's just something I like. It's, you know, it's not as absolutely essential. But so the next add-on we're going to set up is Poisoner, which is a really useful essential rogue add-on. First of all, you can very easily poison your weapons using this menu here. This little poison icon. You just click that. I like to have this just near my player frame here, kind of out the way, and just you know set it up like that. As you can see, I there's these weapon icons excuse me, in the middle of the screen. So, what I need to do, this is called the timer, um, the timer feature, and what you have to do, basically, if you want to move it, you just have to unlock it, which is what I'm gonna do here. I normally have it here. I don't mind having this, like, in the way, because it kind of needs to be in the way. Because if, if it, the more it annoys me, the more likely I'm going to, like, stop and poison my weapon. So this is why I kind of like this, um, actually physically being in the way. I think I, no I normally have it, like, down here. So it doesn't really matter too much if this is in the way, I kind of like it being in the way. But there you go, and I'm going to lock that. No, I'm going to lock that, save. And now my interface is starting to look a little less cluttery, as you can see. And I've got a lot of in in essential information in this bottom left hand of the screen, which is really useful. And let's move on to the next add-on. So there's a few uh, extra things that we need to set up. First of all, we're going to set up a chat box, um, which is obviously an add-on book. First thing to do with that really is just to move it kind of out of the way. And what I like to do is I have my threat meter kind of like above the chat box. This is obviously a really important thing to kind of pay attention to. So you want it kind of not too much in a way, but you want it significant enough. Like I only display the few top people because that's all I really need to know. And I just have it there above the chat box and I, I keep an eye on it in case I, I pull threat. And that's pretty much it. From here, we also have recount, which is something I need to talk about. If I can, can I get it up here? I don't think I can, so I'm gonna have to type it. Typing is really hard at the moment, guys, so bear with me because um, I've got splint on my hand. If I type recount show, there we go, recount is here. And then what I just like, I normally have recount just above this kind of area of the screen, like most people, and yeah. Now the interface is pretty clean. Uh, the last add on I can really talk about is this add on. I think I normally have it around here. This is a spy add-on, so it basically tells me when any, whenever enemy enemy, I can't talk. That's a bit of a tongue twister, though. Whenever enemy players are close by, so this a little thing will appear on the screen, and it, this little this is like a little drop box, and I can target all the close by enemies. So that's quite useful. One thing I've noticed is my stealth stance bar is like totally out of the way, so I should move that to about there. Get that snug in there, and I think I've pretty much done everything that I need to do to get my interface set up for raiding. I think I'm pretty snug now, I don't have to worry about stuff apart from moving icons around here so they're not that much in the way. It looks like I've accidentally downloaded this swatter bar though, I don't know how this works particularly, I mean can you move it? Yeah, I think you can move it across the screen and stuff. Um, so that swatter bar is something that is sometimes downloaded when you download add-ons. And it's basically just an add-on bar. It's quite useful, but um, yeah, I think I've, I think I've got everything snug. Like everything seems pretty snug. I do need to just put my macros up and set them up and keybind them. Looks like all my keybinds are pretty much uh, a okay. From here, I do need to set up, re totally reset up my mouse, which is going to be a real pain in the backside. But oh well. I'm just going to stop the video to think if there's anything more that I can talk about. Last thing I can talk about is just the add-ons that I, you know, displayed in my add-on control panel. So, first one, first one is a really useful add-on called character classic character stats. If I go to melee stats, I can basically it basically displays really detailed like character stats on the character and default and default menu, kind of like how retail does it. So that's really useful. And um, the last things that 
people are probably going to ask questions about is stuff like Omni CC and classic or durations and real mob health. So obviously I have real mob health enabled, which displays the enemy mob health. I have classic cast bars, which displays enemy cast bars, which I can't show because there probably won't be any casting enemies. But um, Omni CC, if you see, I'm gouging the target and I can precisely see see when that Corrode Control is about to fall off. And um, that's obviously really useful. The other one, obviously, is um, classic aura durations. For sometimes that will that will basically show things other than crowd control effects. So, for instance, debuffs like rupture. If I press nine now, I can see a rupture on the target. Not for very long because these mobs are low level, but that just displays like when dots are going to come off, when buffs are going to come off, that kind of thing. So that's really useful. And that's pretty much all the add-ons I have enabled, apart from maybe Atlas, obviously for Atlas maps. I have a map add-on called Leatrix Maps, which allows me to zoom in a little bit. has integration with Questy, although it looks like it's not working at all, for some reason. Um, yeah, there must be some update I have to do there. And obviously I've got Atlas Loot as well, which is you know pretty essential, and I'm pretty sure most people are going to have that add-on anyway. Oh, and obviously I have Item Rack as well. I haven't messed around with this too much. It looks like my sets have gone, unfortunately, but I did have different sets set up set for different environments. So that's another thing. Um, I, I can make sets, and I'm gonna, probably going to put them on my hidden bar and set up keybinds to switch different sets. For instance, fire resistance gear, PvP gear, PvE gear, um, shadow resistance gear for dealing with, you know, doing scholarments and strafforms, stuff like that. So yeah, just things like that. And that is pretty much all the add-ons I have installed that I can talk about. So I'm pretty much going to end the video there. My name is Meta Goblin. To my next video, ciao.